Today I'm at the uh, James restaurant. One of my viewers recommended me to uh, try this restaurant. So uh, let's give it a try. Just talking to the uh, owner, the boss. Uh, my name is Dan Ciro. What's, what, what's your name? My name is James. James. Oh, it's James. Okay, that's yeah, your James. James, name James on Hastings. Though. Okay, exactly. So James is the owner of James on Hastings. So this is a popular restaurant. I checked out the reviews. So uh, you've been how long at this restaurant? I've been at 12 years. Yeah. 12 years. I, I, I saw the um, selection. It's a nice selection for the food here. Yeah. So lots of uh, traditional dishes. Like uh, you got uh, pork hock, which is the uh, pig feet, right? Yeah. We do. I try to do um, traditional. 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 Yes. Traditional. Food. traditional. And um, old country style soup. Old country soup, yes. Uh, so we yeah. had the... Uh, what was that uh, soup we had today? The um, uh, today is the toy gum. To toy, uh, today? Yeah, today is the uh, toy gum. Yeah. Yeah. Today the soup is the water crash. Yeah. have the yeah. 20 pounds pork bone, yeah. 5 pounds chicken bone, okay. and some something else put yeah. together. We cook so, 3 hours. Oh, fantastic. Uh, my yeah. mom makes that kind of soup, and uh, besides her making it, I, I don't make it myself. So. Yeah. Every day fresh. Oh, every day is fresh. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, this is a fantastic looking uh, special chow mein. Look how big it is. You get some scallops, you get some nice prawns, you got barbecue pork, chicken, and under is the crispy noodles here. So you can tell the crispy noodles under here. Look at that. Look at that. I like crispy noodles. Mm. So look at this. Look at the chow mein. Look at this. Uh, Chow mein, lots of nice sauce. Ooh, look at these noodles. Look at steaming hot. You see the steam and the wake in the sauce and the noodles. So this is the Yang Chow Fry Rice. It's got the prawns, got barbecue pork, eggs, stir fry with lots of wake, which is the sear from the carbon wok. It's trying to fry rice right now. Mm. The uh, rice is nicely cooked. You see the individual grains of the rice. And it's got nice ingredients like prawns and barbecue pork. And they won't be. Oh, my hmm? Oh, my oh, yeah. I'm checking out the restaurants here on East Hastings. All the way from downtown east side to Burnaby. So there's a lot of good restaurants, especially Chinese restaurants. Since the uh, pandemic, how has this business been for you? Oh yeah, we live, but we're doing okay, but uh, like most is to take out and pick up our delivery. Though. Okay, so you got more, more business than uh, delivery? Oh, more delivery. More delivery. And yeah. what about in dining? Has it returned back to like before or is it still uh, slow? Still slow. It's, uh, like now, like be before pandemic, maybe 60%. So oh, 60 for percent. dine. Okay. So, so I uh, guess uh, like most restaurants uh, has been affected by the pandemic. Oh, yeah. It's and, uh, not easy. Yeah, it's though. hard. So yeah. it started to come back a little bit, I think. And, and oh, yeah. uh, the takeout has been be uh, better. Yeah. Yeah, so surviving, I guess. Eh? Uh, still surviving. Yeah, that's good. Uh, we open long hour, 11 a.m. lunchtime to midnight. Okay, so are you working more hours now than before? Is it the same or roughly? Oh, same day? hours. Same hours. Same so you've always been hard working. Oh, I work every day. No <laughs> day off. Okay, but yeah, I go, yeah. I go Chinatown later, buy the ghost leaf, fresh veggie, oh, okay. buy the seafood, everything. So, so, so I try to get a fresh out of yeah, myself. Fantastic. Yeah. I've been here 30 years, this trying the restaurant, oh, the, this the, side, the, yeah. but they're like different owners. So. Can I ask you, like when you started uh, in the restaurant business, Yeah. Uh, how did you get started? Uh, so mostly uh, like, I, I've been in the restaurant business, uh, they, uh, I worked for a restaurant for all my life. All your life? Yeah, almost uh, over 30 years. Oh, 30 so, years. Because before I worked somebody else. Okay. So I think I, you know, I try to do something for myself. Yes. So, uh... Did you learn uh, cooking here or, 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 or somewhere else? Before I manage somewhere else, uh, but six years ago, I, I learned, I spent a couple years learning how to cook. Oh, okay. Now, uh, I know 70%, okay. or, uh, not 100%, okay. I do the kitchen things. 
good. Uh, I, you know, I help kitchen mostly when when they need me. That's good. So mostly in the front. Yeah. So you you mostly work in the front. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and do you find like uh, in, in your later hours? I, I drove by. I was looking for this restaurant a few days ago. Yeah. It seemed like it's quite busy in the yeah. evening, right? Like later. Oh, uh, like we can. Yeah, yeah, we can. Yeah, we're doing okay. Yeah, doing okay. We have late night special start at start at nine p.m. Okay. So yeah, you can come earlier. It's there or like. Quarter to nine is no problem. Fantastic. The late night special. Uh, the plain congee is on the house, no charge. Oh, okay, really? You get yeah. congee when you order something? Yeah, when you order something, the congee. Fee. Okay, okay, that's good. Fee. Fee. That's good. Yeah. So I'll be back here for sure. It was sure. really good. The special chow mein, I love eating special chow mein. That's one of the things I always order, every restaurant I go to. Thank you, Dan. Today I had a fantastic uh, special chow mein and yang chow fried rice. Yeah. So, uh, Come next it, time. Yeah, I'll be Let's here. Let's not again. buy your drink. <laughs> okay, fantastic. <laughs> I'll be back. So, the main thing is during the, since the pandemic, you know, I'm trying to support all the restaurants uh, everywhere, everywhere I go, and uh, I've been doing a lot of uh, reviews for Ch uh, Chinatown and Vancouver East, East Vancouver. So, uh, so I'm okay. glad you're surviving, and uh, I wish you all the best uh, in your, your restaurant here. Thank you for supporting. Sir. Okay, thanks very much. See you guys. Today we're doing traditional Chinese soup. This is a simple and delicious recipe for Chinese spinach soup. We're gonna make some uh, soup stock. So we use uh, half a dozen uh, chicken drumstick bones. We have some uh, pork bones. We've got some ginger. So uh, first you uh, so slice up some uh, ginger here. So before you uh, put the bones in the soup, uh, pre-boil the bones for about five minutes. So this gets rid of the impurities and uh, some of the dirt. So just uh, bring some water to a boil. And then just add the uh, pork bones and the chicken bones. Add a couple pieces of uh, ginger. So this will be the uh, soup stock for your uh, Chinese soup. And boil the uh, soup stock for about an hour. Just cover the lid and uh, boil at uh, low to medium heat for about an hour. The soup has been going for about an hour, so just add about a teaspoon to a tablespoon of salt. So for added flavor, just put a teaspoon of chicken base or chicken flavor. So this will enhance the uh, flavor of the soup. We're gonna put some Chinese veggies in the soup. San toy. San toy. So this is a, you can use any kind of uh, Chinese veggie, but uh, San toy is good for soup. So we're going to put the uh, San Toy into the uh, soup in the last uh, 5 to 10 minutes. So the soup stock is at a full boil now. So just add the uh, San Toy, the uh, veggies in there. So you can use uh, different kind of veggies, but this is the one that uh, I haven't really heard of too much, but we're going to give it a try. So cover with the lid and let it boil for another about 10 minutes or so. San Toy is known as Chinese spinach. It's also known as Malabar spinach. So the soup is going at a full boil now. So just uh, use a ladle to scoop it into a bowl. So you have some uh, pork bones and chicken bones with that as well. There you have it, traditional Chinese soup. Enjoy. Now you can order the products and ingredients that I use in my cooking videos. Just click the link below in the description for the Chinese cooking accessory guide. You can order everything online, including the wok that I use and some of the equipment. Thanks for checking out my video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And thanks for your continued support.